what are the conditions for fasting? Now, there are a number of conditions. Number one, being a Muslim. And this is a condition in Allah accepting your deeds. So Allah Azza wa Jal does not accept the deeds except of those who are Muslim, who are submitting their will to Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is why Allah mentioned in Surah Al-Furqan, وَقَدِمْنَا إِلَى مَا عَمِلُوا مِنْ عَمَلٍ فَجَعَلْنَاهُ هَبَاءً مَنْثُورًا That all what the non-Muslims have done in this world, we shall make it or we shall turn it into dust. Not accept this. So non-Muslims, if they offer good deeds, they build orphanages, they feed the hungry, they honor their words and commitments, they do a lot of good things, no doubt about that. But because they do not believe in Allah Azza wa Jal, they did not submit their will to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, Allah does not accept these deeds. Yes. Allah feeds them in this vision, gives them health, gives them what they want. So what Allah has com compensated them with in this life is more than what they had provided and offered of good deeds and worship and forms of worship. So that on the day of judgment, they come and they have nothing to show up for. Number two, puberty of puberty but it is definitely something that they are encouraged to do and this is why the youngsters are instructed are recommended to try their level best that they train early age as the companions used to do the companions used to order the children to fast until it was Zuhr time. This is when they feel the pinch of hunger most. Parents give them toys made of wool, dummies and, and, and dolls to play with, not dummies, dolls to play with. This means that their, their fasting is accepted, but it is not mandatory because they have not reach the age of puberty number three sanity which means that a person who's mentally ill a person who's classified as insane even if he fasts this does not count and in so many times or cases a mentally ill person may not eat or drink from sunset, from sunrise, from the break of dawn till sunset. This so happens. That doesn't mean that a fasting day is counted because the Prophet told us والسلام, that the pen has been uplifted except from the pen has been uplifted from three categories of people. A child until he reaches the age of puberty a person who's asleep until he wakes up and a person who's insane until he regains his sanity. Number four, who do not have it are exempted from fasting and that is to be in sound health. In the verses talking about fasting and there are two of them, Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says, فَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرًا Another verse, فَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرْ So here we find that the condition of obligation upon a person to fast is that he would be in a sound state of health. Because the opposite of that is being sick, being marid. And sickness is relative so i have a cut in my finger i'm considered to be 
not in my sound state of health. But this is not a legitimate reason to skip fasting. Someone who has knee problems and he cannot pray standing up doesn't mean he's exempted from fasting. So the type of sickness that would exempt you from fasting is the type that would hinder your fasting, hinder your recovery, or harm you. In this case, you have to skip fasting to avoid all of this as you have the concession, the permission from Allah Azza wa to skip it. Now, having said that you skip it, definitely you're going to need to make them up because Allah stated min ayamin that you have to make them up later on, on other days, providing that your illness is curable. So someone who has a very bad stomach ache or a headache that prevents him, that stops him from fasting, he can skip fasting. But once he is recovered, he has to make up for these days. And if a person's illness is chronic, so a person has, uh, has a problem with diabetes, the type that if he does not eat something every couple of hours, he may fall sick and die. And doctors say you have to eat something every couple of hours. This is chronic. You will never recover. He can skip and feed one poor person for every day he misses. Number five, being in one's place or of residence. And number six, women who are in the period or having postnatal uh, uh, bleeding, not discharge. Um, these are usually labeled by jurors as obstacles. Free from obstacles. So part of the conditions of obligation of fasting upon each and every one of us is that he's free from obstacles. What obstacles? When a woman gets her menses or postnatal bleeding, consensus of scholars say that she cannot fast. Now, this consensus is agreed upon, but is it something that she can control? This is an obstacle. So this obstacle due to uh, its occurrence, she's exempted from fasting. Likewise, traveling. When a person travels, this is an obstacle that prevents a normal person from fasting. And this is dependent on the hardship, but even if it's a 10 minute flight or half an hour flight from point A to point B, which is considered to be a traveling distance within the community. In this case, what we do not obligate him to do so as he has the concession, he has the permission to skip it. And postnatal bleeding alongside with monthly cycle, these are, these are two excuses that the Sunnah came up to pardon a woman who has it from fasting. This is not mentioned in the Quran. So those who are misguided and only worship Allah Azza wa Jal through the Quran, they would probably deny this and obligate a woman to fast and pray even if she has her monthly cycle or postnatal bleeding. Of course, they, the women who are excused from fasting due to their postnatal, postmortem bleeding or their uh, monthly cycle, they are obliged to make up these misdates. A woman came to Aisha and the hadith is in the Sahih. She said, why 
do women make up for the missed days they did not fast due to their monthly cycle while they do not make up for the prayers they missed for the same reason so Aisha was outraged may Allah be pleased with her our mother and she said are you from Hajj? the Khawarij are the likes of people who have weird ideas depending on their intellect and logic rather than on the Quran and the Sunnah and we have so many of those we have so many people that whenever you speak to them they will say but logically this or that what logic we have the Quran and the Sunnah so yeah, yeah I, I looked into the Quran so I did not find it and logically in people's process of thinking and process of submitting their will to Allah Azza wa Jal, without any arrogance or pride so she said to that woman are you from Harura at the time of the Prophet we were ordered and whenever a companion says we were ordered by default this means that in order to make up the fasts that we had missed and not to make up the prayers that we had missed so this is clear inshallah to anyone that wants to follow the quran and the sunnah